What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Oh, Rooster Man stuck in traffic. Figure I'd pop a little quick video. Uh, listen to some interviews on my South Carolina Gamecocks yesterday from some of the players, and I listened to the Shane Beamer interview. Spring game upcoming this Saturday. Expectations. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, what do we want to see out of the spring game? You know, it's going to be very vanilla. We all know that, right? But what players are we anxious to see? How do we want to see how they perform? Now, I've heard that there was a lot of talk about the linebacker room and the speed that's gotten much, much better with the new guys that came in through the transfer portal and uh, the young guys uh, that are there now. Uh, a lot of speed at linebacker. Uh, watched a little mic'd up thing yesterday with Traverian Robinson with the defensive line. Uh, expectations there. Uh, basically, the North Seller says TJ Sanders is the man. A wrecking, one man wrecking crew. Uh, we've seen his athletic ability last year. If we can get him to stay healthy this year, uh, I think that kid's got a bright future. What else? What else do we want to see? Uh, me, interested in the DB room, how well they're going to perform. Uh, as far as the defensive side of the football, uh, Dylan Stewart, uh, he wants to break some sack records for freshmen. I think in his interview he said the record was six, so he's trying to get more than six. Heard some great things about him uh, as a freshman. They basically, it sounds like he's the best freshman to come along uh, basically on the defensive line. I, they call them linebackers, defensive ends, whatever. They don't include them in the defensive line. It's just kind of weird. Back in my day, it was all just the defensive line. Defensive ends were included. Uh, but the more they've broken this down, the more they've added coaches. Uh, I guess now defensive end is uh, a linebacker position, whatever you want to call it. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Don't understand it. I would think defensive line is a four-man crew that works together. Or a three-man crew that works together depending on the front you're running and then you do have some outside linebacker speed rushes I guess like you know back in the day you had the Lawrence Taylor's uh, was I guess considered a linebacker but a defensive end I guess, it depends on what you call it I guess the defensive scheme that you run uh, what these guys are right I, I, I'm not a I'm not a defensive coordinator and I ain't about to tell you what to call a guy or what position room to put him in. But I think uh be interested to see that defensive end room again this year. Uh, see how they progressed. See how well they're doing. Put some speed out there with Dylan Stewart. Hopefully he has a great and fantastic freshman year for us. Um, offensive line, I know that was a big issue last year. And I think that's a big thing that probably most Gamecock fans want to see. It's how that offensive line is going to come together, how it's going to perform. Uh, can they stay healthy? Um, so, sounds like it's going to be a young offensive line, of course. So, how do they perform together? Um, sounds like, you know, D-Lo, Dow Loggins, but the kids call him D-Lo. A little more intense this year, a little more in detail with the quarterback position than he was with Spencer. You know, Spencer had his years behind him. Um, so he probably let Spencer do a little more Spencer-like things where now he's got guys in there that didn't wasn't in the system or young, right? You got Lenore Sellers in there. You got Robbie Ashford in there. Um, so he's gotten a little more detailed at the quarterback position. But I think offensive line is probably the most important position to improve this year and stay healthy versus last year. Um, stopping the run is going to be a big thing, so hopefully uh, speed at linebacker will help with that. Just not over speed, right? No wrong steps. With the running backs you're going to face this year, you can't take wrong steps. So it's going to be real detailed uh, when it comes to your schemes of stopping the run. 
what else do we know, right? What else do we look forward to? Do we want to see the running back room? Of course, no Rocket Sanders. He came off his surgery. Uh, listened to our uh, Jawan Howell the other day. The young kid that transferred in from South Carolina State. Man, he reminds me of Dakarian Joyner when he does interviews. Now, I don't know. I haven't seen them side by side physically compared. Um, I think Jawan Howell, Howell is a bigger kid, though. I think he's like somewhere around six foot, six one in the 220s, which is kind of Dakarian Joyner. I know Dakarian beefed up last year uh, to try to play the running back position and got up in around the 235, 240 range, which is probably really, really big for him. I don't know if we've ever seen him play that big before or whether that even benefited him trying to play at that size. It's funny when you start you want to see these kids get bigger, right? You want to see the weight on them and all that stuff, but you just got to remember when you take, you add too much to them and you take athletic ability away from them, it slows them down and they don't, they don't perform correctly, right? It's just like an engine in a car. Add more weight to that car and it's going to slow down. So, you know, pick up truck, you drive a truck for a living, you load down the back of that truck, it is not going to pull and perform the way it did when it has nothing so you know anxious to see these these running backs too i guess overall really excited to just kind of kick back this week watch a little bit of football even though it is a spring game um not the intensity you look but then you're gonna have some guys that are just out there fighting right these guys are fighting for their their position on the field they're fighting for starting jobs this upcoming year so that's a, I guess that's the biggest thing you want to see is fight performance and what guys step up, right? You can, we know our older guys, uh, Boogie Huntley and those guys. We kind of know who they are. Uh, you know, it's just like anybody else. I'm sure they improve every year. Uh, if you're not improving and you're just sitting still, that's not a good thing. But the young guys, who out of the young guys is going to step up uh, the new guys, who are the new guys? It's going to be the most impressive. You know, right now, it just sounds like at wide receiver, even bringing in <clears throat> some guys through the transfer portal, Mazeo Bennett, our freshman, is the one that's being talked about the most. Uh, they interview, yeah, I watched his uh, interview, and, you know, he says all the right things. He's got his head down, learning the plays. He wants to get on the field immediately. And he wants to perform, right? He's got a goal. The kid's working towards it. Can you hold that, uh, hold him back? No. I mean, hell, you get a freshman and just go out there and do it and let him do it. I don't care who you brought in, uh, how many games they played in. If, you, if you're getting outperformed by a high school kid in his first year of college, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, but some, also, the kid born with some natural ability, right? There's a reason Tennessee wanted him. There's a reason all these other schools wanted him. Uh, and he flipped his commitment back to South Carolina, which I think was huge. Um, in Beamer's interview, asked about, you know, transfer portal. Will there be some guys leave? I'm sure they will with these exit interviews because that was part of his conversation. Um, if the guys don't think they have the ability to get on the field, you're going to see some guys pop in the transfer portal. I don't think anyone needs to panic. Do I still think there's some feelers out there for some guys for South Carolina to bring in? I do still think they will look for a bigger wide receiver. Um, they're going to look for someone that can high point the football. Uh, so... With this coaching staff and the changes they made on the offensive side of the ball, we don't know who they're recruiting. We don't know really what what piece to the puzzle they're looking for. But I would say with the wide receiver room, they're looking for at least a, a, a bigger target at wide receiver, even though we have the big targets at tight end. Just not quite the same, right? Um, so just who are y'all excited to see? I mean, really. What, what what do you want to see in the spring game that's going to uh, make you get at least, at least a little bit of excitement? I think right now most fans for South Carolina are kind of on that teeter-totter of a six-win, five-six-win season. They just look at the schedule, automatically think we're not, some of these teams we're not going to beat. 
We we hope we beat them, but coming off of last year, looking forward to this year, looking at our schedule, just it's SEC football, boys. It ain't gonna get no easier. So you got to get you got to get better players. Uh, coaches got to be on point. Uh, training's got to be on point. It's I've gotten into this training thing now, and I'm telling you. It, it'll fool you it will fool you nutrition the nutrition of these kids that are in training and playing football is so important it was brought up in beamer's interview when he was talking about these kids getting ready to take a break and go home how important it was to stay on track with their nutrition don't go home and lose too much weight don't go home and gain too much weight can't leave the facility at 225 and come back at 265 you know very important to hydrate in your nutrition so kids got to do what a kid's got to do to for himself right and can't always babysit them they know what they need to do they know the right things to do so you got to trust them when they go home to do all those right things but i don't know we'll see how the spring game goes excited just to kind of kick back and watch a little bit of it this weekend uh got some other things to take care of but i will watch that football game but everybody y'all have a great day and uh we'll see you later oh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel i don't just do football or sports or talk. i just talk life and uh some people like it some people don't they want pure sports. They want pure this or that. All right, that's not me. I just, whatever pops into the rooster's head, we're going to sit here and talk about it. We'll talk about more football. Hell, I was talking to one of my buddies who's a Gator fan. He went to their spring game and said he don't. He wasn't very impressed by old DJ Lagway. The hype behind DJ Lagway. He said Graham Merch looked good. DJ Lagway looked lost. So we'll see. Uh, but. Like I said, hope everyone enjoys the channel. I appreciate all you guys, and we'll holler at you later. Peace.